Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some hair masking in Photoshop. So as you see here, we have a picture of LaMelo Ball, or the uh, the rookie of the year, if you will. Um, so essentially, this is what I'm going to be going for. This is the original picture, just kind of masked, masked uh, everything except the hair. And that's what we're going for. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, basically, I just masked out the rest of the picture so I could just focus on this. Um, and that's actually what I usually do anyways, just so I can deal with this separately um, when I'm done masking the rest of the picture. But So I'm going to go ahead and create a layer mask and then um, just use the brush tool to brush away the parts that are farther from the beard, I guess. So you just have the close part like that. There you go. So you don't want too much of this excess part. You just want to focus more on this area here. But if you go too far out, um, it can mess up. So I like to go a little more close. Because uh, I think missing a few of those farther out hairs, I guess, isn't too big a deal. But just try and try and um, do it as, as precise as you can. And we're going to go in and just fix all this up later. So there you go. All right. So I'm going to just finish this off camera. And uh, I'll cut to when I'm done. But just outlining the hair essentially and all right that looks cool all right so i just finished that now i'm going to go ahead and take the pen tool just like i did with this little beard or whatever um <laughs> i'm gonna just follow the line that i created and um and then fill it so it doesn't appear on the on the layer so i'll go ahead and finish this off camera too because it's just busy work <laughs> all right almost done Cool. Now I'll just go around here, select this here, right click fill, and cool. All right, so now this is what we have. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and just rasterize it so I have this layer to go back to if I need it. Then you're gonna go to this tool here, the object selection tool, and press, or press control, and then click on your layer. So it just basically selects the layer. Um, and then choose select and mask. And then choose this tool, the Refine Edge Brush Tool. Set your opacity to 100%. Make sure it's on plus. I'm just kind of zoom in here. I'll start with the beard. Essentially, you just want to brush over it. You don't want to get too far in. But as you see here, it's just kind of just leaving the beard. But you don't want to get too far in because it'll start to mess up with like, the skin and stuff. So just try and highlight the parts like that. I think that looks pretty good. Then I'll come out here and start repeating the process for this. Um... So it's kind of brush over it. Very, very, very easy. Let's see how that looks. There you go. Look at that. Man, if you try to do that by hand, <laughs> I would take you forever. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just continue doing this all the way around. And uh, I'll catch you when I'm done. All right. Just finish this part here. And there we go. Okay. So now you see we're basically good all the way around. Um, now just press OK. And then on this new layer here. Just click the layer mask button and it'll fill itself like that. Go ahead and convert that to a smart object. And I'll delete this here so you can see where we started. Pretty good if you ask me. Um, sometimes you'll get a little, like a couple straggly parts that are lighter or like some whites in here. Um, to avoid that, if they have darker hair, just create a curve, darken it a little bit, create a clipping mask on the layer, and then you can go through and just darken it as you see here to clean it up a little bit. And then if they have lighter hair, you can just lighten the curve like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, very, very quick, easy tutorial. Good little tip to know. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If you have any questions or need any help with this, feel free to let me know. I appreciate all you guys' support. It's been awesome. Uh, I'll try and get videos a little more consistent. Um, I got finals week coming up, but after that, I'll have a more free schedule. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. All my socials are in the description. As I said before, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I uh, hope this helped. Later.